Good morning, everybody. Uh, Stalling Bear here. Uh, I got a late start this morning doing some work up in the attic. And I don't care what time of year it is in Miami, the attic gets uh, hot quick. And uh, so much that I even had to take a shower before I even came out and started uh, working out and exercising. It was that hot. Uh, and being so hot, I decided to change up the routine a little bit. Uh, and go downtown to one of the buildings and do some uh, stair climbing today uh, as I've mentioned before and I thought I'd take it a little bit easy and take the metro uh, on my way down and uh, I get to the metro station and I realize that I left my metro pass uh, in my backpack because it's also used for the bus system as well and I carry it with me in case there's uh, any time that I twist an ankle or get something wrong and I don't want to go all the way back home. I, I, um, pretty close to a road at any given time. I can jump on the bus and uh, get myself closer to home. Uh, especially during the week when everybody else is at work. So instead of taking a metro downtown one of the buildings I'm gonna walk it uh, so it's gonna probably uh, be about the two two and a half miles uh, there and back to the building I plan on uh, doing the stairs in and I thought to myself as a lot of people comment about the, the trail the trail gives you what you need for that day apparently I needed a few extra miles walking today uh, as part of my training okay so here we are in a uh building downtown. Uh, this building has uh, 24 flights or 24 stories so we'll see how many uh, stairs I can actually go. Um, it's 604 for the first portion of Amica Falls so hopefully I can get at least 604 out there. We'll count them and see how we go. Um, and it was according to Google. Uh, I didn't take the exact path as Google but it had it at uh, 1.9 miles here, 1.9 miles back, and plus any flights of stairs that I do. Um, I may stop at Walgreens on the way too, or uh, pick up a few things uh, for the trip, uh, some medications for the emergency pack and stuff. So uh, I'll try to make the most out of this trip and see what we do, how we go and how the legs go. As I had mentioned before, I'll do individual stairs, I'll do double stairs, extend my legs as much as possible and even go up some flights backwards. But initially, I'm just going to try to go to the 604. Uh, I told the office uh, that I will probably be doing this for over the next month or so. And uh, at some point in time, I'll also be using the backpack to get used to it as well. So I'm trying to utilize as much time as I have. I didn't want to take a, a zero day of training, so I'm going to uh, do what I can. When the time is available. I made it to the 24th floor. It's 356 steps. Hopefully I didn't lose count anywhere along the line. So I'm going to go back down and start back up again. 356. Got to remember that number. Okay, so I did the 24 flights uh, three times and I went back down to the 14th uh, floor and back up. I wanted to make sure I had at least double that of Amical Falls so that I could get some uh, training on that. Today I did all individual steps during that time just to get used to the Amical Falls. Uh, in the future I'll do double steps and, and such to strengthen the leg muscles. I will go down a few flights of stairs just to work the muscles in, uh, eccentrically and kind of do a counterbalance of what I've done so far. The legs feel good. I feel a little more winded than I expected. Uh, hiking even for the four hours, I'm doing a good steady pace and going straight up the stairs. Uh, it was more of a cardio workout. Um, I noticed uh, during a normal day, my heart rate will get to uh, 110, 115. Okay, so I'll splice that out a little bit. Uh, as I was saying, uh, my heart rate right now is 130, 131. So. Um, a significant difference, uh, 15, 16 above what my normal rate is during a normal hike on that. So a much better cardio workout on that. 
Um, and I'm going to, uh, other than just walking down the stairs and get that eccentric work of my legs to help balance it, uh, the walk home will also help uh, uh, balance that out on that. Uh, you'll hear me talk about balance and balance of workout, uh, balance of life uh, in, in a lot of different ways. Uh, I think that's really a key uh, to performance and keeping your, your muscles and your joints and body in tune to each other is if you work one set of muscles, you work the other set of muscles. Uh, and uh, for me right now, it's not the soreness. I don't feel sore. It's after I sit down for a while and rest, uh, those muscles begin to tighten up a little bit. So it's best for me to stay active. I'll follow on uh, with anything else I have uh, along the trail. So I'm in the neighborhood now. And when I left off last time, I was talking about going down the stairs to counteract or counterbalance the effects of going up the stairs. Uh, the best example I have of that actually working for me was uh, when my last submarine pulled into Akuska, Japan for a refit. Uh, we were there over a weekend, so they offered some tours to us, and I decided to take a tour that the uh, that we would hike up Mount Fuji. And we actually drove up to a part that was probably like halfway up the mountain. And we hiked up from there. And it seems like you could, the, the top of the mountain was always in sight. You were like almost there. And the day went on and the day went on. And you seemed to, and towards that point, it was like it was never going to reach the summit. And every step, of the way uh, towards the end, my thighs were burning. And as I lifted up the pressure off my leg, it seemed like, oh, relief. And then I had to take the next step. And <laughs> so it was uh, quite, the, quite the thing. As by the time I got there, I didn't, wasn't even sure that I was gonna make it to the top, but my legs were burning so badly. And when you get to the top, you're so relieved and it's so beautiful and majestic to look around. You can see all, all of the countryside of Japan that you just instantly get a burst of uh, energy. And so I was really enjoying that. And then I started going down and I started feeling my legs again. And wondering, oh my God, am I gonna make it uh, down? And it seemed as if the further I went down, the more relaxed my my thighs really became. And by the time I really got down to the bottom, it's like I had uh, no pain in my thighs or my knees or anything at all at the bottom of it. So that's the going up and the counter, the muscle reaction coming down uh, seemed to benefit me greatly on that. And uh, the other thing I experienced that same day was that exerting yourself so much to the point of exhaustion of that you were, I was so hungry at the end that we just stopped at this uh, ramen noodle place on the side of the road and it seemed to be like the best meal I ever had. <laughs> so I'm sure there's gonna be times on the trail that I experienced the same thing that even some quick ramen noodles with some salami or uh, tuna fish and it's going to seem like the best thing ever. So I'm going to finish up there with pack them up, move them out.